What's up, Brand Builder? I'm Mash Bonigala, and welcome to another episode of the Brand Builder Show. In today's episode, how to create a winning brand image. Now, marketing and branding are both confusing topics, especially when a small business owner feels that they are struggling just to break even. But a brand identity has the potential to be your greatest asset, inspiring customers to give your company a, a try and, and keep coming back repeatedly. Understanding exactly what makes up a brand identity or image and how it is different from the uh, similar but not identical issue of brand image will help you build a brand uh, which is more uh, cohesive. What exactly is a brand image? A brand image is simply what people think of your business in the shortest and sweetest possible language. There's nothing complicated about it. It is merely uh, the picture that comes to your customer's head when a friend asks them whether they're, you know, they enjoy doing business with your company. Underestimating this image can be disastrous, but it is not the sum total of your brand. Brand identity, on the other hand, is a more complex issue. Think of your brand as a person. While it is important to know the brand's gender, age, and demographic information, this is not the most important part of who they are. When you get to know someone, you learn about their beliefs, political stances, uh, hobbies, and, and favorites. These characteristics add to who the person really is. These characteristics are what make you interested in the person on an ongoing basis and make you want to be around them or not. Your brand's brand identity can be designed to produce the same result. It should be noted that people are good at pointing out fakes. If someone who claims to be healthy eats at McDonald's every day, their co-workers and friends notice the, the, the inconsistency. By the same token, no one can claim to be a, a fashionista while running uh, you know, uh, around in stained sweatpants. The same way people pick up these and other cues, then use them to get a, a person's, uh, like, understand their sincerity, your customers are watching to see if their brand experiences match, matches up with your brand image. If these two don't align, your brand identity is likely to get lost in the, in the confusion. On the other hand, when your brand image and your brand identity are completely aligned, you are set up for immense success. Now, while no person or no business is universally loved, many people will feel drawn to your business and want to engage in an ongoing relationship with your brand. This kind of behavior called brand loyalty can make all the difference between success and failure. So how can you make sure your brand identity and your brand image are both aligned and attractive to your target audience? Now, this is a million dollar question. Most companies who have found success in this area have done so by getting help from the professionals. You would never uh, fix your own plumbing or, or uh, resole your own shoe. Uh, you know, branding is far more important than both these things and, and it's far more complicated. Talk to a branding expert today about how you can set your small business up for success by building a professional brand that your customers can believe in. So how to create a brand image? In many products and services, there are, uh, there, there are multiple amount of businesses offering the same uh, you know, product or service. They're essentially competing brands and it is difficult for consumers to differentiate one brand from the other. Company logo designs are one tool that is available for your use. The creative strategy used in you know, designing your company logo is image advertising. Now, image advertising is becoming increasingly popular in all types of services and products. And the core idea is to enhance uh, the brand image through your logo. How do you increase or enhance your brand image? From soft drinks to airlines and cars, there are many brands that have begun using image advertising very, very effectively. Many people associate um, with certain brands because of the images that they see when these brands are advertised. Your company logo design can encompass image advertising by providing an image people are able to see, remember, and relate to. The key is to develop uh, your, your company identity or logo that appeals to your consumers. 
not something just that just appeals to you but your consumers the greater the number of competitors the more important it is to have positive and an appealing brand mark or logo design and the focus on brand and image is important it is difficult for consumers to differentiate one business from another if uh, there is not an image behind the company that is different the image that your consumers relate to you uh, should be uh, a very enhanced one a very refined one now although your services may be similar and exactly to your competitor your brand image will help your consumer differentiate between the two businesses of course it's also got to do with brand messaging but Creating a brand image is an important part of company's marketing and advertising campaign. Branding image can be accomplished through professional designs that consumers are able to distinguish from the competitors. Most advertising dollars in marketing plans are spent on distinguishing the brand image from the next competitor or, uh, you know, or, or, or business. Your brand image and company image. So after a company develops a good brand image, the company is able to focus on brand loyalty or building brand loyalty. Brand image and brand loyalty go hand in hand. Company brand images have a lot to do with brand loyalty as well and should be at the center of any brand image campaign. A company brand image can make or break a business when it comes to um, loyalty, brand loyalty, and should be created by a, uh, a reputable brand agency. You want to have an appearance that is unique so that your consumers will remember your brand mark, your brand image, and continue to look for your uh, brand in uh, the future. Now, brand image is all a part of the creative process that leads to a successful advertising and marketing campaign. Once you have a robust perception, you should also protect your brand image. But that is another topic for another video. I hope you found this episode useful. If you have any questions about this episode, please hit me up on Twitter. My handle is at Bunigala. Or leave comments below this video and I will surely respond. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to this channel so that when the next episode comes out, you'll be alerted. Till my next video, take care.